At the age of 15, Arezzo ought to be in school, but over the last two months, the girl's life has been overturned. I'm a seventh grade student at school, but the Taliban won't allow girls over sixth grade to go. So I'm working in the street and earn around 60 or 70 cents a day. I use the money to buy food for home because my father is out of work. Arezzo's just one of countless women across Afghanistan in similar straits. According to the World Food Programme, nine Afghan households in ten are unable to secure adequate food, with a serious drought underway even before the Taliban took power in August and prices spiralled. We're living in poverty. Under the previous government, I used to have a job. I worked in a factory producing clean water. Now I pay rent and I'm left with no money. And we have nothing at home. I bought a handcart and now I'm working on the streets. My children too are selling balloons and nuts. Afghanistan's economy has been on a drip feed of foreign support since 2002, with sectors from education to health up to 80% reliant on public finance. The International Monetary Fund had promised $440 million in new funding, along with over $3 billion promised from other states. However, that aid has now dried up or been withheld following Afghanistan's reversion to the Taliban's strict version of Islam, leaving the UN Secretary General calling for the world to find other ways to inject aid to avoid a humanitarian crisis.